Good morning. It's not 7 a.m. yet, so we are up and we're actually making breakfast. Today is going to be a full day of eating, and we're going to kind of share, I'm going to share with you how my macros look. So I do follow a meal plan that is established by my coach, right? Um, this is just for me, right? Um, we are currently in a lean bulking phase. So if you guys have been here long enough, I did a cut for about about almost four months. Sophia, you didn't shut the door. Why don't kids shut the door? Anyways, um, I did a cut and now we're kind of in a lean bulk. So each week my food has gone up, my weight has stayed the same. So it's a very slow process, but we want to keep increasing food, reverse dieting basically. Um, a lean bulk as they would say. So currently on training days, I know people are going to lose it. My total calories are 2,830-ish, right? Um, she gives kind of a suggestion, and then I can kind of play around with what I want as far as protein choices and stuff like that. I get about 185 grams of protein, 362 carbs, and 70 grams of fat. So, yeah, it's a, it's a good day. So um, today is training day, and we are training quads today. Um, I want to also kind of touch on a few things. I think a lot of people see my calories and assume that that's too high, that you have to be 1,200 calories. I hope by making these videos and showing you guys that I'm eating, I'm eating six meals a day, you know, feeding myself, moving my body. Um, nothing is restricted. Nothing. I'm not deprived of anything. I still enjoy a treat meal once a week. I'm good. My relationship with food has come a long way. That's not just because I hired a coach and she's telling me what to eat. No, this is because I did the shadow work and I healed my relationship with food with therapy. But nonetheless, um, I just want to show these videos to hopefully give you guys an idea kind of what I eat, how my portions look, how you can eat just about, you know, you can have a balanced way of eating where nothing is eliminated um, and you could still see progress, right? Um, that's the name of the game. So we are currently making our first meal. And for our first meal, we do two bananas, which this is like my favorite meal, honestly. It's like my favorite meal of the day. Um, we do two bananas. And then I do one English muffin. Well, I'm trying to like cut this bacon with my spatula because I like to, to, you know, spread it out. Anyways, um, I do one English muffin. I just do the cinnamon raisin one because I like it. I do two um, bananas. I top my English muffin with a little bit of sugar-free strawberry preserves. This is the Smucker's one, but if you get the Walmart brand, it's way better. And then I just kind of spread it. I'll show you guys my plate, but I put a bunch of cinnamon on it as well. And then I get one egg. And I'm going to assemble all this, and then I'll show you my plate. But hopefully, And I know I look crazy, but I haven't gotten myself ready for the day yet. But hopefully you guys enjoy this video and kind of see how I eat. You know, I do carb cycle, so on non-training days, my calories are lower, my carbs are lower. I utilize food for my day, for the activities, for what my body needs it to do. All right, so here is that meal. So then I have the two bananas. I have a little underneath on this muffin, and then I have the rest chopped up with some cinnamon. Um, two pieces of turkey bacon. I just slice them in half and put each one on that, and then I get one egg. And, that, and then I add just some sugar-free syrup over the top because i like it to be a little sweet okay i like it a little sweet and yeah so i wanted to eat i've been trying to eat my meals a little bit earlier because i noticed that if i eat them too soon and i go to the gym i get really nauseous and the other day on on quad what was it no hamstrings day I, I tossed my cookies in the gym and that was embarrassing so i um, just want to make sure that i don't do that again so i've been trying to eat just a little bit earlier so anyways this is meal numero uno all right we are getting ready to go to the gym uh, let me get my stuff together. Together. Um, we are taking... My BCAs are all out. I ran out of them, and I have to place an order. Um, but what are we going to take? Two things. We are going to take our pre-workout, which is my jam. This is... i got to wipe this up. It's Anyways. This is the one up all in one pre workout and water can watermelon candy. They have a bunch of new flavors. They also have their greens and uh, mango nada flavor, which I think I'm gonna get. 
Um, I'm going to order another. I'm almost out of this pre-workout. I think I have like two more left. I'm completely out of the BCAAs and I'm almost finished with the, oh gosh, it's such a mess, liquid L-carnitine. Love this. Love this. If you are sensitive to caffeine, they have a stimulant free one. One up, I swear to you guys, and I'm not just saying it, this is the only brand that I have found to be successful continuously and affordable. Um, and I, I really do enjoy them. I love them. Honestly, they have um, cleaner versions. I mean, there's literally everything there. Highly recommend. But this is the pre workout I'm taking the watermelon candy. Gonna do that. And I'm gonna take a shot of L carnitine. This is in tropical mango, non stimulant fat burner, diet support, energy, and endurance. I like to mix the two. You could also just, honestly, sometimes I'll just do like that. A little shot. And that's it. So pre workout. Like I said, watermelon candy. Shake it up. If you wanted to get anything from One Up, what do I recommend? Absolutely, liquid L carnitine, their pre workout, their BCAAs. So far, I've tried all of their flavors. They've all been really, really good. Um, I take their um, daily cleanse of it sometimes. I'm not going to lie, it's very good. Um, effective without. They cannot let you leave your house. Um, I've taken their fish oil, which I got to reorder, and their multivitamin. I also think I might try their hormone support as well. And then I take their protein powder, which I'll have a protein shake when I get home from the gym today. This is their vegan protein powder, banana bread. This is the second one I just bought. It's really good. Um, I can't do whey, whey protein. It just messes up my stomach too much. So I've been doing vegan. I was going to buy the egg white one and I didn't, uh, the flavor I wanted was sold out. So I ended up just sticking with the banana bread. It's pretty good. I like to mix mine with milk, not water, like almond milk. And yeah. Oh, and then I got to get, hold on. Pre, like before I walk into the gym, actually when I drive to the gym, I just have some of these little bites. They are 190 calories, 9 fat, 27 carbs, 2 protein. That's going to get me through my, um, it's like my little carb shock. Some people do Rice Krispies. I got this now, so. But these are to be kept in the fridge. And then I have my water. Um, I wish I would have had my BCAAs. I'm going to order that um, when I get paid, so make that order but if you wanted to try them they gave me a code it's danielle i believe it saves you 20 percent and i'm gonna be honest with you once you once you go into it you're gonna love it everything all the labels are full disclosure you're, i'm telling you it's a vibe check it out they have these brookie uh cookies that i'm actually gonna get for my dad for father's day there's so much good stuff check it out one up nutrition it's the bomb but all right uh let me take these kids to school and then i gotta go to the gym oh gym fit gym fit just some today's uh leg day so i like to wear like a long shirt because you know you're doing a lot of glute maneuvers and i don't know i like to keep my booty covered and i i don't i don't wear them little tiny shorts fit check, see what it's from. oh fit check <laughs> sorry is there anything on my shirt okay no. this is this oversized black t-shirt is from fashion nova um, my leggings are a seamless butt, butt scrunch legging from Arola. They're from Amazon. And then my gym shoes are up tempos from Nike. Those are my favorite. And then socks from Timu. Socks from Timu. Those are my favorite Nike. Those are my favorite shoes for leg days because they offer like a nice ankle support. So, all right, to the gym. Why, hello. We are back from the gym. It's 11 11. Make a wish. Come on. All right, um, let's see. We're going to have our post-workout meal. Um, I could have a choice. I could either do four ounces of chicken with 50 grams of avocado, or I can do, not, but I'm not that hungry. And we're also going to make a bunch of chicken right now. So I'm going to share with you guys how I make my air fryer chicken because I get so many questions on it. And I'm telling you, once you make it this way, chef's kiss. Anyways, but for right now, we get four rice cakes. These are chocolate. They're my favorite. We get 16 grams of peanut butter, and then we also get a protein shake. I'm going to make mine with um, almond milk because it's superior. Cold almond milk, it just gives it more of like a milkshake-y flavor. But yeah, so that's going to be our next meal. Four rice cakes, 16 grams of peanut butter. I'm going to make that 
And I'm gonna make that peanut butter go. Let me tell you, these chocolate ones are so good. Like you could see the little bits of chocolate on them. Mm mm mm. Scrumptious. So, oh, and we get four. Yum. But all right, I'm gonna eat that, and I'll see you guys back when it's time to cook up some chicken. We're also gonna make some rice. We might make some pasta too because I don't have any of that cooked up. So we're gonna make rice, we're gonna make pasta, and we're gonna make chicken. And then for the fam, a lot of people ask like what my family eats. I tend to make a meal for them because I usually prep out my food, so mine's just reheating it. So for them, I just cook a meal. It's not, doesn't bother me to cook something for them. I know some people, it's like, they don't wanna do that, but I prep, so it's not like I'm cooking two separate meals. Mine's just heating up, so. Um, like, it's up like day like today when I gotta cook a bunch of stuff, but it doesn't, there's nothing for you to have. But yeah, so also I need to like self tan and like get my stuff together, but I do all that towards the end of the week. I have showed you guys this before, but this is how I make my rice. So if you didn't see Tuesday's video, I show you how to make like Puerto Rican rice with like the meat and the gandules and all that stuff. Um, I don't eat that stuff, right? Um, I mean, I do, but like not on a daily basis. So how I make my rice that I have this is like been my favorite. I either do like a rice or a pasta or I could do potatoes, but I'm not a potato person. What are you guys? You like, like if you could eat like a carb source, is it like pasta, rice or potatoes? I can do pasta and rice, um, but potatoes, I'm like, nah, I could take it or leave it. If I could have like fries with ketchup, but I can't have ketchup anymore because I have like a tomato thing. Anyways, um, this is just jasmine rice with one cup with two cups of water two packets of sasson and like a teaspoon of nor let it come to a simmer once it simmers i go ahead and cover that sucker up cook it on low for 15 leave it covered turn off the burner after 15 minutes and then turn off the and just let it sit for another 15. real easy real simple and very very tasty so it's not how i make my chicken thighs okay so i use my ninja foodie I, this is one of the things I bought for myself for my birthday a few years ago, and I have zero regrets. So I just turn this bad boy on, air crisp. Temperature is 375. Time is mm, like 22 minutes, depending on how big. I let it heat up. Okay, so it's doing its thing. I have a pack of def defrosted. Okay, these are, I also got a sink full of dishes, but this is real life. All right, so I'm going to go through and i'm going to take these chicken thighs out and all of this white like skin that's left on there i cut that all off okay and then i will have like i give it a nice coat with the kinders i don't want to touch it because my hands are contaminated but with the kinders lemon pepper also i know these nails are long i'm getting them cut down i was living my bad and bougie moment i had a gift card for my sister for my nails and uh, i just had to get the bad and bougie ones but um, gonna cut off all this white skin that's left on there and then give them a nice coat on front and back and then I just toss them in the air fryer okay now we are back we have the chicken kind of cleaned up I kind of pack it in pretty tightly the chicken thighs do shrink when they are cooked and yeah top coat and the bottom and I flip them halfway and that's it but the kinders lemon pepper is the game changer it does have cane sugar in it, but I will be honest with you, I haven't had any stalls, any issues with my weight loss, um, and it's been okay with me. Now, I don't have any glycemic issues. I don't have any blood sugar issues, nothing like that. So if you do, this is something you might want to refrain from or kind of watch your glucose with using it. But for me, it's been all good. So I just drop the top, and then halfway through, I will flip. Halfway through, open your lid already looking beautiful sorry my dad is just texting me trying to be all gossipy he's the best and i just flip them as you can see they're already looking so good i mean i guess you probably don't have to flip but i feel like you do i know people say when you're air fried you don't have to but honey i'm gonna be real with you flip them flip them and then cover your put your lid down and let them go for a little bit longer and i honestly don't even have to temp check them because i know they come out fine but if you were weary don't cut into your chicken just get a little thermometer and just stick it stick it in there and then you get anything above like 170 is good here is our where are we at now one two three this is four 
Yep, this is number four. I don't know. I gotta check. Hold on. I don't even know what meal we're on today. This day has just been flying, multitasking, uh, diets, training days. She has a. I have a little app that she, my trainer has. So this is meal. Oh, this is meal number three. Sorry, this is meal number three. And yeah, so, okay. So this meal is where we get the fattier choice of meat. So I could do beef tenderloin, steak, ground beef, or salmon. So I opted for salmon because I bought it at Sam's Club the other day. And this is the last of the serving. I cooked it up. It's just, just with a little bit of um, like Cajun seasoning, garlic, and lemon. And I cooked it in a sheet pan in the oven. That is 100 grams of that rice I showed you I made and 100 grams of green bean. And then I top it with the best sauce ever for fish. I mean, it's honestly the best sauce. Look, there is, I'm like living on hopes and dreams. This has become so hard to find in my area. If you, what is everybody talking about? Um, Ray is giving me some inside scoop here. Anyways, um, this has been so hard to find and my mom has one in her, uh, her cupboard and honestly, I feel like I'm gonna go over there and steal it. Should I steal it? I feel like she won't know. Anyways, sweet chili sauce from G. Hughes. So good. Got a little kick to it, but delicious. And that's going to go on my salmon. Scrumptious. Now, I just want to show you guys. Look. Look at how crispy. So good. Both sides. Game changer. You guys are going to love it. If you try it, let me know. Because, look, your girl likes to eat, okay? I'm an eater. I'm a booty. And when I say something's good, I'm not lying, okay? It's not like, it's good for diet food. No, honey, there's no diet food. This is just a nice choice of protein seasoned up, and you will not get sick of this, I promise. Back in it for meal number five. We cooked up some pasta. I'm just going to put a little bit of lemon juice on there. I don't have any Parmesan cheese. I usually like to put it, but I'll put a little lemon and salt, and it is fire. But if you put a little bit of lemon juice and Parmesan cheese on your pasta, game changer try it let me know you could even add a little bit of butter if you're feeling frisky but nonetheless that's that green beans because you know i love me some green beans and we got that chicken we just made up and yeah so i'm going to go ahead and dive into this really quickly but i'm going to share with you super easy um it doesn't have to be hard guys it really doesn't just take a few like it took me maybe about 45 minutes to make that all that chicken but um you know, cleanup's really easy. Just made a couple sides, and that's it. So, honestly, I probably would have had the rice if I wasn't recording, but I like to give you guys options so you guys can see, like, different stuff looks like. And while I was cooking all that, I was able to clean up, and I even made dinner for the family. So, it's not that hard. It's super simple, and your food choices can be delicious. So, I hope this gives you guys some inspiration and lets you guys know that it is not a hard task. The more complex you make your meals, the harder it's going to be. Super simple. Just keep it simple. Keep it good. Season up your food. It doesn't have to be bland. And enjoy the process. Make this a lifestyle. Okay. So here, we're on a paper plate now, okay? Don't come for me and my paper plates because I'm tired. I've been washing dishes all day. Anyways, we're going to do some chicken. I'm going to have, I have some lettuce shreds and I'm going to have like a little side salad. But I want to share this with you because I put my salad on a separate plate. Am I the only one? Do you guys do that too? Anyways um 100 grams of rice another four ounces of that chicken because it was delicious but let me show you the dressing i use this is the dressing i'm using today it is the siget here we go let's go this way skitty girl raspberry vinaigrette it's pretty good it's not ken's raspberry vinaigrette because ken's va raspberry vinaigrette Fire. yeah i could drink it it's so good it's the best Oh, I love that. Summer so rice do that salad with like the Summer blueberries salad. and the, oh with gosh. The, with the strawberries? Yeah, we're gonna, again. yeah, we gotta do that again. Okay. Um, if you guys want a great summer salad idea, so I do just like a salad mix and then I'll cut up stra strawberries, a couple blueberries. If you like like feta or blue cheese or something like that, you could throw that in there. Um, I prefer feta. Feta, right? And then um, you can put like tomatoes and cucumbers and just like really jazz it up. Even throw in some like cranberries and some like walnuts or pecans and then get the Ken's raspberry vinaigrette. Mix it. Oh, it's the best salad. It is the best summer salad, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's light. It's good. Oh, it's just the different flavors. 
I can go on for days just talking about it. It's that good. But anyways, this isn't as comparable, but it's it's a decent. I mean, it's all right. So anyways, that's what I'm going to have with my salad. Okay, bye. So check in really quickly. I was, I'm actually about to eat my last meal, but I was telling Leo, so I started a new training program about a month, but about a month. Yeah, we'll say about a month. Um, yeah, three weeks. Yeah, we'll say about three weeks, okay? Um, and I'm doing a lot more, it, the routine has changed a lot and I've been doing a lot more squats, um, hack squats, bar squats, all that stuff. But since doing them, I've noticed that like literally this whole tire, I like to call it my tire here, but like, like my hips hurt, like all the way through my lower back hurts and even like my lower abs hurt and I'm like you know I'm a hypochondriac so I was like am I dying because you know every, everything I think is some mortality crisis but um I don't know if you guys do it I don't know I don't also feel like I guess we'll do a physique check this is after literally five meals so on a when I wake up I sit about 175 pounds that's like my comfort weight right now I've been staying there so um, I mean I guess the stomach's looking pretty flat hope I don't have like a huge camel toe on TV or on camera but it is what it is but this is my I always get a question about my loose skin honey it's still very much here I just spit. But also though, like, you could see like the skin on the top right here above my belly button is starting to get wrinkly. I don't know. Becky's outside talking to Judy and playing with her dog. But yeah, like this, it's like hurts here, like in my hip, like right here. And then like, and it's only like a positional like soreness. Like if I sit back, I'll feel it. I don't know. And then, ugh, yeah, my lower back too. So as it, I was talking to Nicole Burgess today and I was like, girl, my, she's like, no, it's normal. But also I've been getting like nasty Charlie horses right here. Thighs are looking legit. And like hammies are coming in. Becky changed her room around again. Um, but then also like right here on my shin, I've been having like muscle spasms. I, one of the guys at the gym today, told me that I need to go and get acupuncture. He said that helps a lot. I also, there's another thing too. We'll chat for a minute. I usually really don't talk to a lot of people at the gym. I talk to like the ladies and some of the older guys, but like the younger guys, I try not to talk to them because I don't want them to think I'm like hitting on them. Is that weird? I feel like that's kind of weird of me, but like, I just don't want them to be uncomfortable. Like I'm there like cruising for men or something like that. And, but whatever, I had seen this guy working out and I've seen him before, he was a very, very nice kid. And I was like, excuse me, can I ask you a question? And he was very, very sweet. Um, I probably come off a little standoffish because I have like a really bad rusting bitch face. I don't mean to, it's just, I'm just always like, and I always kind of like right off to the side too, but he was really sweet. So um, I'm gonna try this or acupuncture. Um, he, uh, was telling me about this guy that works upstairs from the gym, so I'm gonna try it. I'm tired. <coughs> I'm very tired. Um, leg days literally take it out of me. I would also say, though, what makes me nervous about, like, the achy, like, I know it's, I know it's like a muscle because it's positional, but it's literally, like, where my C-section cut is. And I have literally no abdominal strength down here because my 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 separation, like, I have fourth degree separation, so how you can tell is how many fingers you can put. So up here, we start at like three, but once you get to the bottom, we're at a complete four, where you can, I can literally feel my muscles separate. So that's where it feels the most for me. Did you guys watch Queen Charlotte, a Bridgerton, the Bridgerton story? I freaking loved it so much. 
I loved it so much. It also made me so sad on how they treated mental health back then. But then also, like, it's King George, and he was, like, awful to, like, the American colonists, I guess. I don't know. I'm not a history person, but I just loved it so much. Oh, so good. I love Bridgerton. It's so cute. But I also, now that it's summer, I want to start rewatching True Blood because True Blood for me is a summer show. All right, you guys don't want to hear me talk anymore. What are we going to have for our last meal? Um, what I have is oatmeal. Also, uh, I don't want to do this oatmeal anymore, but I just bought it and I just uh, was talking to my cousin. I guess, remember I told you about my cousins I found, like my long lost cousins from my bio dad side? I'm going to show you a picture. I should show you a picture. I don't think she would care. Yeah, I'll show you a picture. Um, I'm just going to cover up her hubby though, but she's getting married. Look at how beautiful she is. Um, she's a twin. They look identical. They're identical, I think. Hey, hey! Look at how beautiful she is. Isn't she beautiful? Oh, I love her so much. Her and her sister. I love them so very much. Anyways, I was talking to them, and that one in particular is a nutritionist. And she was like, Danielle, I know you eat oatmeal, like, every day. Um, you need to get organic oatmeal because the glycophthalates are really really bad so i'm gonna finish this because i just bought it but i'm gonna go organic if you guys can make sure you get it that it's glycophthalate free okay um but yeah so i'm gonna have you know what i might actually just have this and get rid of it i don't know i'm so cheap anyways um i'm gonna have this 30 grams of oatmeal and then i'm going to no, I get 35 grams of oatmeal, I'm sorry. And I get 150 grams of berries. So I do this cherry berry blend. And then, hold on. A scoop of protein powder. I actually have you guys on it as a stand, but yeah. That's my last meal every day. And then I use um, almond milk. That's it. I put a little syrup in there too. Um... But yeah, that's that's what we're going to have for our last meal. I hope this kind of gives you guys an idea that you don't have to villainize food groups. You don't have to completely restrict yourself. You don't have to binge, you know, because essentially nothing's off limits. But I also feel like that if you keep it very simple and you don't overthink the meals, it could be a lot easier. That's why I highly recommend food prepping. So then, you know, you have your proteins cooked up, your sides, whatever. Um, and you could eat well and enjoy life. And it's really nice when you're not obsessing about what you're going to make every day. And I feel like I, I mean, I kind of go through it because I cook for my family every day. But for myself, I know everything is legit. I got everything prepped. We're good to go. We're ready to rock and roll. No excuses for failure. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new here, hey, I hope you stick around and subscribe. We do a little bit of everything around here. We started incorporating more vlogs. I do uh, hauls, everything. Just a page out of my diary, right? And if you guys have been rocking with me for a minute, you already know I love y'all. I am going to eat my oatmeal and take a shower. And I think I'm going to restart True Blood. We're, somebody also asked me who my favorite actors and actresses was. So I want to ask you guys. My favorite actors, I have three. Um, that I just kind of top off my head. Tom Hardy, because I think he's very, he's a very good actor. I feel like he was just like a pretty face for a while, but after seeing him in like a few shows, like Legends, um, Peaky Blinders, Taboo, like he's very, very good. Um, who else do I like? Killian Murphy, also from Peaky Blinders, because that show was epic. Kiefer Sutherland, because I love to hate him. I hate him so much because he's so good. And Denzel Washington, love him. Man on Fire, oh, I love Man on Fire, so good. Um, What's it called, John Q is another one I loved of his. Oh, he's just, he's just so good. And then women actress, w actresses, I guess. Um, Reese Witherspoon, for me, I think is so good. I think she's super talented. I loved her in Four Christmases, and I also loved her in, um, when she played June Carter. And I love the lady who played Cersei and the lady who played Sansa in Game of Thrones. Those are my favorites. What are your favorites? I'm out of here, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Bye, friends.